and Bradford Crown Watch Group. I am Paul, your helpful slotsmith. Thank you so much for watching this video. Now, over the last couple of weeks, we've been asking our Crown Watch members, they're the Crown Watch members from our Leeds, Wakefield, uh, and Bradford Crown Watch groups on Facebook. Uh, we've been asking for your questions as to, uh, to see what we can put to our industry experts. And the questions that came in were these, uh, the ones that we've picked. Um, I paid £90 for two locks with a British Standard Kite Mark, uh, also had one star, RD Secure. Uh, I have seen locks are being burnt now, does that mean that no lock is safe? Uh, are French doors less secure? And can smart locks get hacked like keyless car doors? Great questions, we're going to put those to our industry experts. Um, so now let's see who those industry experts are. Hello, I'm Donna Caton. I'm the co-director of CAVSEC Training. We specialise in crime prevention and security and safety training. I've got over 15 years experience as a subject matter expert in crime prevention and I look forward to taking your questions. Hello everybody, I'm Alex Dutton, one of the sales managers at Present Secure and I'm really looking forward to taking your questions today. Yes, and thank you Janet and Alex for helping us and, and taking the time to answer these questions. Um, I'm sure everyone watching this will agree there's some very extensive knowledge um, of the industry and we we'll look forward to hearing your answers. So the first question, I paid £90 for two locks fitted with a British Standard Kite Mark and a one star. Are these secure? Uh, Alex, over to you. See, that's a great question because this isn't about how much money you throw at a problem. This is about ensuring that you've got the right quality product to do the job you want it to do. As common as they are, one star cylinders are only protected against anti-pick, anti-bump and anti-drill methods of attack, which generally are the three that burglars don't really try and do. Snapping is by far and away the most common form of method that burglars will try and do to get into your house. So it's really important that you've got a TS007 three star anti-snap cylinder. Now you can go one step further and have a three star sold secure diamond cylinder that are tested to even more robust standards, but even more aggressive standards to make sure that it's going to do the job that you want it to do. And it's going to stop even the most determined burglars from snapping and breaking into your house. It's, it's tempting when you see a good deal or you think something that looks like a good deal to go, oh, I'll get that. But unless it's got that three star stamped on the front and preferably a diamond, it's not an anti-snap cylinder. So it's, it's make, make sure that you're getting what you think you're getting. Thank you, Alex. And I think quite a clear message being sent out there. Three star locks, preferably diamond grade. That's so secure, diamond standard. There are six or seven of those on the market. So they're quite readily available if you speak to uh, your trusty locksmith. Um, of course, we have two available at Help Locks. Uh, by all means, you can contact us on 0800 0025258. We'll put a link uh, along the comments uh, in, in the um, video description to uh, a page over at helplots.com that will have another video about the Ultian Cylinder, which is the diamond grade lock built by Brissant, for whom Alex works. Um, so on to the next question. Um, I have seen that locks are being burnt. Does this mean now that no lock is safe? Uh, Janet, uh, we'll, we'll start with you. Burglars burning locks. Is it a problem? I have seen some examples of this, but I have to say it's very rare. Most burglars rely on several other things. The main one being insecurity. So if you fail to lock your door or your window, whether you're in or out, then a burglar will take advantage of this. The other most common ways for a burglar to enter your home are to buy, buy snapping locks, smashing windows, uh, and generally, if your home is in disrepair, i.e. they're easily able to remove um, a window or part of a door, such as a panel, then that is the way they will get in. Burning a lot requires planning because they have to carry the kit to do it. And if they're carrying the kit and they get caught, then they can be done for going equipped. So it is very, very rare that we find that they will carry a lot of tools or equipment around with them. They will carry the simplest things that can be used or they will use things from your home, your garden, your shed or your garage to get access to your home. 
So make sure that you clear up, clean up and do a little bit of good housekeeping outside as well as in. See, burning, blowtorching, that sort of thing is, is very dramatic and it looks very scary. In reality, it's not really doing a great deal more than they always did with a set of mole grips and a Stanley knife. All they're really doing is softening the door, softening the plastic to try and get the handles off and get access to the cylinder. So if you've protected yourself with a three-star high-security salt-to-cure diamond cylinder, then you should already, already be protected. Because the worst that they can do is try and get more access to the cylinder, but it's still protected. I mean, especially Ultian. The way that Ultian protects is that if somebody was to remove the front of the cylinder, snap it, attack it in any way, it will enter what we call lockdown mode. Uh, and that means that the actual cam itself locks into place so you can't manipulate it, you can't bypass it, you can't get through. And we back that up with a £1,000 guarantee. So all the testing that we've seen, and we've done an awful lot of testing ourselves on blowtorching, has shown that all you can really do is soften up the door and the plastic around the side of it. You cannot melt the cylinder. And even if you do melt enough of the plastic around the cylinder to get access to it, you still cannot snap it and get through. You still can't attack the cylinder and bypass it. So I'll say whilst blowtorching is very scary and dramatic, it's not really any more effective than the normal burglary methods are taking, which Ultian is completely covered against. Yes, thank you, Janet and Alex. Um, yes, yeah, so uh, lock burning or door burning, yes, like Alex says, although it looks very scary and looks like something different, actually, it, it is just a lock snap attack um, is, is the aim of the burglar carrying this out. Um, the melting of the plastic allows more cylinder to be, uh, be attacked uh, but like Alex quite rightly said, the same locks that protect you from lock snapping, which are your three style locks, and in particular your salt secure diamond grade locks, will also protect against a door where a lock has been snapped after the door has been burnt first. So the same defense as for lock snapping applies, even though it looks like there's more going on, actually when they carry out the lock burn, it really does just come back to what they've already always tried and tested and done. It's the same defences, so the diamond grey locks are still going to defend against uh, such an attack. Okay, so the next question um, okay, uh, was, um, are French doors less secure? That does seem to be quite a common perception. I come across this all the time, people asking me this question. So I'm kind of glad this came up and we can throw this now to our industry experts. Over to you, Janet. Point. I guess it very much depends where those French doors are on your property. I have them on mine, however they're on the first floor and not easily accessible. Most burglaries actually occur at the rear of a property. So if you have French doors at the rear that give access to the ground floor, then it might be worth considering their, their overall security. Check the door overall. What's the frame like? What's the glazing like? Are the handles robust? And do you have anti-snap locks? Making sure that the doors are in good condition, that they lock firmly together, and that you are able to secure them uh, overnight or when you're away with some additional locking system is also a good idea. You can invest in something called a padlock, which easily fits over both handles of French doors provided you have two handles. Um, and this is a really easy to use mechanical locking system that provides that extra security. You can also fit something called snap locks or sometimes called sash jammers. These are a small plastic lock that fits into the return on the door and provides you with that extra um, drop down locking system, if you like, over the edge of the door so that anyone trying it from the outside would find it extremely difficult to get in uh, through those doors because you've then got extra locks. Most French doors have good um, interlocking multi-point locking systems, uh, but just check out that, that lock. If that cylinder lock needs replacing, replace it with a three-star anti-snap cylinder as soon as you can. That's the best you can do. If they can't get in, then they will probably go for the glazing. And in order to protect the glazing, the only thing you can do is to put some security film onto the glazing itself. 
However, this may be a step too far for most residential properties. Again, another great question. See, patio doors, back doors, French doors aren't inherently weak by themselves. Yes, they do have a big pane of glass in them, which if somebody was to smash, makes it easy to walk through. Generally speaking, we are seeing that burglars are trying to avoid smashing glass wherever they can because it tends to make a lot more noise, draws more attention, and it leaves more risk of them leaving some DNA or something else behind. What does make them weaker and more vulnerable is that they're generally out of the way. They're behind the house, usually in the darkness, where it's a little bit harder for people to get seen and get spotted. And the traditional, the normal ways of entry are still the most common types of trying here. So they're still trying to snap the handle, snap the cylinder and break in that way. So as well as using three star cylinders, which obviously is always going to be the best route forward, you can protect the handles themselves as well. Now, we have a, a lock lock handle that we call it. And with that, you get a, a rounded nature on the outside of the handles, which makes it really hard for anybody to get any mole grips on to get hold of it in the first place to rip them off. And they've also got a deadlocking switch on the inside, which makes it ideal for French doors because you're not necessarily always wanting to search and rummage around for keys, trying to find the keys to go out in the back garden and you know enjoy your day. Because at the end of the day, you are supposed to be enjoying your lives and doing what you're doing with lives, not constantly spending every five seconds worrying about burglars. With lock lock, you can either have no cylinder in them at all uh, and just lock it on the deadlocking switch, or you can have a half cylinder on the inside if you still want a bit of peace of mind and you've turned a key. Or if you need to be able to access the door from the outside, not with a key, you can have cylinders all the way through. Uh, the main real benefit is that you've got that switch. So you want to go out into the garden, you just flick the switch up, pull the handles down, go out into the garden, enjoy your time in the garden, make the most of the sun and the weather. On the way back in, lift the handles up, that'll engage your multi-point lock, pop those switches down, and that physically deadlocks the spindle then. And that means that no one's ever going to be able to pull the handle down, pull the lever down, from the outside they can't get in from the outside you're still nice and safe obviously if you're worried about someone smashing glass then the methods really for that are to look at things like laminate laminate glass uh, there are sheets that you can stick on but laminate glass does seem to be the way that people tend to go nowadays yeah a lot of information in those answers and a few products that were were mentioned there so uh, quite recently actually we put out a video uh, four ways to uh, securely lock your French doors. Uh, we included, as um, Janet mentioned, sash jammers, pat lock. Uh, we also did include three star cylinders. We also included within that um, a section about the lock lock handle, which Alex referred to. Uh, so there are, those are four ways of securely locking your French doors. We'll put a link to that video in the comments here. We'll also put a link to those relevant products uh, so you can go and view those in uh, at helpboss.com in the web store as well so all of that's there for you uh, with regards to laminate glass we can't link you to anything on there because we don't do glass at help locks uh, but what i will say is i do quite often recommend um, that people look at or that you look at having your glass upgraded to laminate um, i would expect reasonably to be looking at around 350 400 pounds for two full size panes of glass um, that are laminated, um, so it's well worth um, getting a quote from a, your, your, uh, some local glazers. Remember to always get three quotes, uh, but uh, I would expect it would probably be around 350 to 400 pound uh, for two full size panes of glass being fitted uh, with laminate. And the idea is, is when uh, somebody tries to smash your glass, it won't per perforate the laminate straight away. And it takes several attempts. You really have to keep going for some time to perforate the laminate. And if you double this up with a home alarm, so that when they first try and break the glass, an alarm is triggered. The combination of an alarm being triggered and your your um, your, your perforate uh, your laminate not being perforated, um, I think between the two that will that will deter most people from gaining entry. Even if they try and break your glass they're not going to get any further. Um, so that would be the best advice I would give on there. Uh, so over to the final question. Oh, I think this one's for Alex. Um, can smart locks get hacked and opened like keyless car doors? If you don't know, if you've not seen this, um, it was quite well documented. There's technology now whereby uh, car thieves were able to pick up your signal uh, whilst whilst you're at home, they might pick up your signal by putting a, an antenna through your letterbox, pick up the signal from your key fob, which then transmit to another device, uh, to their colleague who will be stood by your door, who can then unlock your car door, start your car engine and drive off. 
Um, so yes, I guess the concern is, can you do that to unlock somebody's door if you have a smart lock? Um, so yeah, over to you, Alex. Now, again, over the last few years, there has been a lot of noise in the press about keyless entry cars and people trying to hack into them or amplify the signal from your car keys to either open the car and start the engine and drive off, that sort of thing, without actually having to get hold of the keys in the first place. What we've done with the Ultian Smart Smart Lock is to protect it against all known methods of attack. So that's obviously the physical elements that we've already talked about through anti-snap, pick, bump, drill, that sort of thing. But we've also got military grade encryption on the smart units themselves. Something called AES256. And that's just to make sure that no one's ever going to be able to hack into the actual unit or override it that way. Whenever you distribute keys, distribute access to anybody, they're encrypted end to end, similar to the way WhatsApp is, uh, to stop anybody from hacking into those and intercepting those as well. The other benefit that you've got is from the outside, you can't tell that it's a smart lock. It's not advertising itself. If you've got, you know, one and a half, two tons worth of uh, Merc or Beamer sat on the drive, anybody that's looking to target those sorts of cars knows you've got it. It's sat in the front of your house. With an Ulti and Smart, it doesn't look any different to everybody else's door handles, every normal door handles. It's not drawing attention to itself. So you're not having to worry about someone trying to hack it in the first place. They're never directly connected to the internet either. So as well as obviously having our encryption, if you want to sync it up to your Wi-Fi, something like that, we have uh, an additional bridge that has encryption on it, or you can sync it through something like uh, Apple's HomeKit, through an Apple TV, or Samsung Smart things, that sort of thing. And again, they're all encrypted to stop people from hacking into them as well. So you should be perfectly safe. Thanks for that, Alex. And yeah, and quite rightly, he's he's mentioned quite a lot in, in that piece um, around Ulti and Smart, which is the, the smart lock that uh, Brissant have developed and has been on sale for uh, a good few months now. Uh, we can put a link to Ulti and Smart um, in the comments as well. We'll also do a link to a video that we've done recently where we look at um, Ulti and Smart and some of the, or a couple of the accessories to, to go with it if you're interested in Smart Locks. Uh, but thank you so much again for watching this video. If you have anything you'd like to know about, by all means leave it in the comments or you can drop your question over to us at hello at helpplots.com if you want to email it across. Um, if you like this video, do, uh, do feel free to, to share it and uh, hopefully we'll get to do some more of these. I hope you've got some real good value from this and I hope this has helped if, you've, if any of those questions that we've covered are concerns of yours too. Thank you again to Janet and Alex for giving up your time. I really appreciate it. Uh, fantastic answers there, lots of detail, lots of knowledge and uh, well, I can't thank you enough. And uh, and uh, we'll uh, we'll speak to you all soon. Thank you very much. Bye bye.